And, and I'm excited because we've heard that they're going to allow us into some of the old nuns' bedrooms. We've never been in people's private bedrooms. I've been in lots of people's private bedrooms. Well, not with ghost hunting equipment, so have I, but... <laughs> I usually don't take a spirit box with me, if you know what I'm saying. Well, once, but... <laughs> It's approaching midnight at an old convent that has become an art space frequented by hipsters. The queer ghost hunters are in the basement, talking to a dead nun. Is there a member of the group you would specifically like to speak with? I really wanted to talk to Lori. Oh. <laughs> The nun ghost gets her wish. The team has no way of knowing how much this handoff is about to change the entire night. Were you the one before that was lighting up the EMF meter um, that Scott has? After several minutes of questioning the dead nun ghost. I'm gonna ask you a question now, and, and I'm sorry if, if this is too intimate of a question, but we are in a community where uh, women romantically love women and men romantically love men. Were you possibly of the same persuasion? That's a yes. Well, let me tell you that it is an honor that you've been this honest with us and that you've talked with us. Um, can you straighten the rods out? This is a I guess space. it's like coming out for them, but when you do come out, it's kind of like a burden lifts off of you and you can finally be your true self. And, you know, without knowing exactly when someone became the entity that we're speaking with, you know, they've felt that way for 100, 200 years or something. You know, they were, they were never able to, to tell their story and um, be their true self. So, I, you know, telling it now, maybe that helps them uh, you know, live more fully, I guess, as a spirit. Were you in love with another sister? Yes. yes. Very emphatic yes. The basement is under a theater that is also rumored to be haunted. <laughs> you know, it, the show's probably over. That's probably why everybody's... It's being used by the hipsters tonight. Okay, straight now. Background. Obviously background or I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the dowsing rods and the EMF meter respond almost on cue to the questions that Laurie is asking. Lighting that up and I bet that takes... If you could light that up, we just like that, we would know <laughs> you were here. I mean, it's just so nice connecting with another lesbian who lived a hundred years ago. Well, uh, what's the... Uh, who knew? Who knew we could do this? I have, I'm not joking, I have never seen that meter no. even be yeah. past yellow. Right. That helps us see eyes. you, exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> we can't hear you with our ears. We're getting not just one thing happening, but the EMF is going off, and it's going off when we're asking pointed questions. And we're so happy to see you. you we can actually see you and feel you. I very clearly just saw something pass through there. Very clearly, it was a like a white shadow that went past, and there's nothing that could have done that. You've just spent how many years, maybe being totally alone? You know, it's it's like being you know stranded on an island, and you see a plane flying overhead. You kind of need to try to make contact. I guess you're going to try really hard for someone to notice you. Liam has a question for you now. I'm Liam. Predominantly, I identify as queer and as transgender. You specifically wanted to speak with Lori. Is this because you find Lori attractive? Does... <laughs> <laughs> I do 
just blush because of, of what a ghost said. That I, is the first time that's ever happened. I just had well, a feeling. Thank you. I, I look, my face. You can't. Maybe you can see, but my face is blushing. I I don't blush very often. Talk to. I like you too, by the way. I mean, I really do. Oh, my, your dream ghost. My dream ghost. My dream ghost is. A lesbian nun that has never shared this with anyone before. And I think that's a great dating pool, by the way, for me. <laughs> My dream goes. They don't bug you. Uh, <laughs> They're so easy to ignore. <laughs> I really need to know your name uh, somehow. I'm just going to take a chance. Is your name Mary? No. Okay. Is your name Margaret? Is it Magdalene? Magdalena? Maggie? Martha? Maybe Mabel? The bear is sensing the name of the ghost. Madeline? Madeline? Oh. oh. And I really do not mean to offend you, but I think Madeline is a really sexy name. I really do. Madeline! Madeline, I'm so happy to know you! Wonderful! <laughs> So she, she doesn't mind that you think it's sexy. Sister Madeline, <laughs> welcome to our group, our community. And uh, we're going to take a little break now, but I would love to talk to you later alone this evening. Maybe alone. <laughs> Maybe alone. Uh, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm not trying to offend your sensibilities, but okay if we talk later? Fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow. That was Regrouping. amazing. The night is already half over, so the team breaks into small groups to cover more ground. Wow, I'm kind of smitten. I said this is my best dating pool. Really, yeah, I mean, they're perfect, for you. they're perfect for me. I'll never text. Laurie secretly goes to the nuns' bedrooms, hoping for a more intimate conversation with Sister Madeline. But she brings a tool that is not in her suitcase, the team's co-leader. I will have to tell you, the two times that I have been grabbed, I have been standing by Shane McClellan. Yeah. <laughs> we started this together, and it was very clear from the beginning that Shane was, as I say, ghost bait. He is all the time grabbed. I think that's more because... Yeah, he's touched a lot. Entities feel like I can, I can feel them. I can sometimes I can see them. You know, even when I was little, I had these senses of other things being present. He's kind of our barometer. It's like we 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 put him in a room and then see if he's tingling. Using Shane as ghost bait works. The lesbian ghost reappears for a more intimate conversation. What is it that you liked about me? Is it, um, do you like my hair? <laughs> well, thank you, because I'll tell you something, honestly, I'm really insecure about my hair. Um, it's just always been crazy since I've been a little kid when I was little. Did you have brown hair? Oh, you did, and I have to tell you, and I Definitely some orbs kind of flying into you in a way. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. If it was dust, I would, I would think there'd be more of it. Um, Andy, is that you? Is it really? I have to tell you, and I, I'm not going to be too forward with you. I, I, I don't want to do that yet. I still don't know you quite well enough. Um, I'm 5'4". Were you about my height? Yes, wow. Well, we would have made a good couple. The next day, the team reassembles for its usual debrief. What? What? What are you all looking at? <laughs> I 
at the debrief, Kai was just a little off. He had made contact with an entity, but it was a different entity than the one that Lori had. An angry, mean nun. A toxic nun, if you will. I just want to hurt something. It was actually the scariest part of the night. The scariest part. I mean, this was a fucking batshit crazy nun. An angry nun had passed her residual rage onto Kai. Had imprinted on him. Bat shit crazy. Residual rage. With a nun. Too kind. Mean. Nun. Angry nun. Nun. Had imprinted. Too kind. To me. Fucking nuns. Shit. Our next queer ghost hunters. He wanted to bring her peace, but she is turning that against him. It's scary. I gotta get out of here. I just like, I hate this place. I'm just like, what the fuck?